he had done between before leaving. Yeah. See, they found formerly uh, the entry into into Delhi yeah. was based on your intersite and posterior sites. Right. Wow. Right. And, and they found that the uh, the high scoring mark scoring gas didn't necessarily make good engineers. Okay. So thousand marks were reserved for that. Uh, I think it was uh, six hundred for intersite, four hundred for first intersite. They decided to change that. Yeah. And they allotted two thousand marks. Your entry point had to be a reasonable entry. I mean, intersite total. Right. But thereafter, there was a thousand marks. I see. Or hundred marks for Boy Scouts or UOTC. I did a two year uh, university office with Predico. I joined the um, uh, you know, yeah. uh, reserve force. Yeah. Uh, so if you were there, you got hundred marks. If you if you uh, uh, had hobbies. I see. And did carpentry. I, I do a lot of uh, hobby work. I see. Right from here, I'll show you something. I see. Uh, 100 bucks. Sports, 100 bucks. Boy Scouts, 100 bucks. Yeah. You see? Um, then there was an entrance exam. English, English, general knowledge, drawing, 300 bucks. Then interview, you know, the, the personal interview. Mm. So this way they made a thousand bucks. Okay. And this, during those years, the maximum number of Goans and uh, and Parsis got through. Because of extracurricular activities? Because of that. Because because overall, yeah. and, and all the best engineers, this Arminio's father was among them, Vittorin Pinto, uh, I can name uh, Eric Saldana. Um, we had a huge I see. bone crowd. I see. There. All these Benedict Sosa, uh, uh, Rosha, um, uh, who was his, uh, then uh, Willie's brother, uh, Orlando. Orlando. And then uh, there was uh, this Baptist Sosa. In Cyril Mahindra, Pinto, Mahindra Baptist Sosa. Uh, and C uh, Cyril Pinto, C.D. Pinto's son. Uh, a whole lot. Of, I mean, uh, big name. Big number. I see. So they all got in, as I said, because of this. I see. Uh, Extra and, they, and all the all those who passed out during yeah. those years yeah. have made have done very well because they made very good engineers. I see. They might not have been muffins. Yeah. That's why I said, if I, I don't like to I don't talk about my school and college work because I was never a top ranker academically. I mean, only, yeah, I think in senior Cambridge. Or, or junior Cambridge, I did very well, or senior Cambridge. Um, but uh, I never liked history, I never liked French, you know, and that sort of thing. Uh, so I never scored yeah. high marks there. And then you went to the UK? Then, when I passed out, yeah. I needed to go, to, I wanted some uh, experience. Uh, and I went to the UK, right? Here again, yeah. I was very lucky. You see, I, a friend of my my father in Lichfield, who was in the colonial audit, yeah. uh, had a sister who worked at the uh, leading engineering company. I see. Uh, that, this is this is an engineering company, electrical company that manufactured control gear, automatic for steel wheel, steel mills, uh, cranes, I see. Uh, paper mills, all you know, very heavy stuff. And they were thinking of setting up a plant in India. I see. So very fortunately, they said, you know, I'll speak to them. Yeah. We spoke to them and they said, yes, we would like to have one. I see. So I got in there uh, and I, was, I got in as an engineer training. Yeah. yeah. And while I was there, I thought I might as well study another degree course. Wow. In uh, London University. It was, uh, it was in a different branch of engineering? No, or? same. Okay. Mechanical engineering, electrical engineering. Okay. I did both. I see. So, so I got, I done it in Pune and in the UK. I see. 
But that could be very good stand, you see. Yeah, yeah. Because I did a lot of work. Yeah. And amongst the work I did there, yeah. was for a steel company. Yeah. Which got me membership of the Association of Iron and Steel Engineers of America. I see. So when I, what was happening was this company who were going to set up a plant here decided not to, because they said at that time, I'm talking the 50s now. Yeah. Uh, they, there was all this Na of nationalization, and yeah, and all yeah, Russian yeah, thing. Yeah. So they decided to go slow on that. I see. And they had agents, James Finlay and Company. So now James Finlay and Company were looking for somebody because they were agents for a um, non British locomotive company, uh, dredgers, a whole lot of Scottish cables, um, you name it, track laying equipment. The, the, uh, always the fellow from the RDSO, number one, when he retired, joined Phillies I see. In, in Delhi. So all the, the, the uh, collaboration with Chitranjan. These are locomotives. Yeah. That was our one of the jobs. I see. The track lane, you know, the uh, rails, not, you know, you, formerly the, the rails were not joined. Okay. Now you have long rails. Yeah. You don't have that noise. Yeah. Like ta -ta -ta -ta. So that was done by us. I see. Yeah. I, uh, I brought a fellow out and the plant, the radius. I, that was one of my first projects. Also supplying the first diesel hydraulic locomotive to the government. Wow. Uh, to the railway. Uh, that, and I was only 26 then. I see. But I, I, but I want to tell you one thing. So uh, what happened was when I came out, I mean, all these engineering companies. So the, the company, I, oh, so since these fellows were decided not to set up, they decided to have Finlay's. I was getting restless. I wanted to come back to India. Mm. So I went to the MD. I was very popular with the company. Okay. Because I, was, I, I made friends with everybody. I was the only Indian I in see. Bedford at that time. I see. I'm talking of the 50s. In the full city? Yeah. In the full city? In, uh, Bedford. Bedford, the city of Bedford. Yeah, city of Bedford. Only Indian? Yeah. Only Indian? Only Indian. There was an Anglo Indian girl. I see. And, and only Indian men. I see. Uh, so the, uh, I, I was also, I was the captain of the company hockey side and I also played for Bedford Town. I see. I also rode in Bedford Town. But Bedford Town I played and I went for the All England Trials. This is hockey or horse hockey, riding? Hockey. 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 Uh, rowing was my other, rowing. other sport, but uh, but I did I only did no competitive rowing okay. in, uh, in uh, England, Bedford, yeah. only in Pune. Okay. So um, so I, I they said look if I went to the managing director and said look I want to go back to India. Yeah. What's happening about this project? Then he told me about this. Yeah. And he said ah, we. We'd like to have you here, you know, and we're sending you to America for training. And uh, I said, I'd rather go back to India. I'll tell you why. You see, what happened was there was another senior Englishman sitting next to me in the engineering. And I told him about this, you know, uh, question of joining Finlay versus going and staying with the company. And he said to me, look, Rati, he says, in England here, you'll go that far, you can go further. I see. You know? He I said, see. my advice to you yeah. is go. You'll have more opportunities. You see, here they're all very friendly. Right. Up to a point. Then the lives will come out. <laughs> when you try. Which is everywhere. Yeah, which is everywhere. 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 But there, particularly, I would be a foreigner. Yeah, you know? right. So at that time, I mean, things have changed. Huh? Yeah. So, I went to Finlay's, Finlay's immediately, with my background and the support of the company, said, you're, you're in our book, employed. I see. So, and, and, and so that's how I, I came out to India. I came out to India. There was a long story there, but I won't tell you that now. Uh, so I come, come out to India, and I was, I've been there. I was. I was not number one in the. Now only twenty-six. 
and, and number two yeah. in my hierarchy in that particular uh, unit business. Yeah. We, we had affiliates in Bombay had three, four businesses, main businesses. One was the uh, textiles. Yeah. The second was the import export agencies and all that. The third one was insurance, Lloyd's insurance and, all, and shipping. You see, this was number two of the company. I, there was an Englishman who was support my boss, supposed to be my boss. Tata's had a problem. I see. With their cranes and a, and a problem uh, which I knew the answer for. I see. Because I'd done work for the steel company in Wales and all that. So the company in England asked me, asked if I could accompany their man to Tata. I see. And we had an office in Calcutta. So Finlay said, no, no, no. Last uh, belongs to the Bombay territory. We, uh, we are a different. They said, no, you might be so, but you don't know anything about this subject. I see. We need Lassi. So, and Tata's were very grateful. They laid on a plane, one of these. Uh, small, small plane from Calcutta to Jamshedpur. I see. And there was a fellow called Skoka, electrical engineer. He strangely was also one of the <laughs> two Indians who were on this um, uh, association of iron and steel engineers of America at that time, electrical engineer. So I solved that problem, you know, and, and came back yeah. to Bombay. When I came back to Bombay, my boss, see I've been there six months yeah. and I'm dealing with all these railways and then uh, heavy equipment, no orders, I mean uh, uh, to get an order because we, they're talking. Uh, yeah, it's a few and far between, they're big orders but, big orders but few. Yeah. It, it takes you. Yeah. This fellow is apologizing yeah. to this man who was not was actually not senior to, I mean, he was senior in, in the air as well. Yeah. But he relied on me for all the technical help. I see. You see? So, but they, and he came out as a, as a supposedly chief engineer, but he was actually the chief testing engineer. So they are telling him to teach me how to sell, because we have not got any orders for I've been there for six Yeah, months. yeah. So he, he, he said, do you know what Lassi is selling? Yeah. You see? He's not selling tea. <laughs> so then he goes to he goes to the Barasa. Yeah. Barasa will be primed by my boss. You know? Yeah. Saying the same thing, asking him, you know, should uh, he guide me? That person said, look, I know what Lassi is doing. I see. And if he doesn't get us an order in, in the next two years, nobody is going to complain. <laughs> It will take more than two years to get an order. True. So, and he said, you know, unfortunately for him, he, yeah. he joined a tea company. He called them a tea company. I see. And he, he said, really, if you're not happy, I suggest that I take him back to the UK. I see. He did me a very big service. He comes to my room, he said, pack up. I see. You're in a wrong company. This, these fellows don't know what they're anything about this subject. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're wasting your time here. You come to the UK. I see. You see? So, uh, so, um, what happened was, the boss of course got this message from here. And I, I stayed on, of course, I didn't go because the way good this Sir John Burns was, uh, although, you know, he was a number one. Yeah. Look very sore and tucker. Paka, British. Uh, you know, Colonel Blimp. I see. But, but quietly, it was very, very soft. Anyway, a few months later, my boss resigned. I see. He resigned, and the uh, boss calls me at a little over 26 years old, eh? and he says, Would you like to take charge of this department? I see. This, as a senior. I see. Uh, which, which entitled me to first class travel. I see. And uh, all that, all the first right, right. Uh, uh, car and driver. I had a, a car, they were giving me an allowance. 
Now this entitled me to car, driver, I see. house, all that. So I said, why not? Yeah. I'll take that. He said, think about that. I said, no, I'll, I'll, fine, I, I'll, I'll take that. Yeah. I said, okay. <laughs> I was in charge. So he calls me a couple of weeks later. He says to me, he says, uh, I say, I would like you to meet a uh, Ratilal Gandhi, I still remember his name, chairman of the Oil Seeds Trading Corporation. So I looked at him and said, Oil Seeds Trading Corporation, <laughs> me? He looks at me straight in the eyes. I could see it. Now or later I could think about his yeah. uh, small smile. I looked at me straight. He said, yes, yeah, you. Hmm. So, I said, oil seed trading corporation. He said, uh, I said, aren't you in charge of this department of the import and export? Uh, you know? I got a cut on. I, I said, see. yes. Go. Yeah. Now, the company had a company in, uh, Fredley had a company in England. Yeah. They were selling what they call chocolate chocolate coated peanuts. I see. Called Payne's Puppets. Very popular in England. I see. Uh, it's like chocolate coated almond. Okay. But it's peanuts. Yeah. And they needed a particular type of peanut. Okay. What they call HPS quality. Hand pick select quality. And I discovered, as I later discovered with cotton, a highly speculative commodity. You don't, just don't go in the market and say about one kilo of okay, peanut. Okay. I mean, this is, they wanted it in yeah, tons, yeah. but they wanted also special. And you had to buy it at the right time, at the right price, price for the right quality. Right. You see? And that, Frederick, yeah. I moved from engineering to management. I see. Then I, from then on, I have a lot of management. I mean, the charges of completely new company, a set of new wow. company, wow. new engineering ventures, new production. I did a lot. But that's a lot. If you look at that list, yeah. Like yeah. A, one of the first things I did was tag. But uh, as I said, that came in later. Before that, uh, I, I put on a proposal for uh, automation, this uh, electrical control here. I got many first licenses. But the company was not prepared to spend more money. They want that was the sad part. The British companies, their hands were tied, you see. And certainly later, yeah. they couldn't operate as hundred percent British companies. Mm. Yeah, carry on, carry on. So so uh, Yeah. No, no. Hi. Okay. Yeah. So so they, uh, they, uh, they said the control gear. Suddenly, go, I had talked of a certain type of starter for India. And the uh, company in England said, oh, but you know, this, those starters, we don't make those anymore. You know. And, and they put cold feet and, and withdrew. Later on, the boss told, told me that. And I said, you, you know, last in two bro. At that time, the fellow who was in charge of this project became chairman, Yuvi Rao. He was very friendly with me. I see. I knew all the last of the two, right from half last and down. But this Yuvi uh, Rao took all my hope for what I had planned. He asked me for it because yeah. we were not going in. Yeah. And he set up this manufacture of motor starters. Oh, wow. Uh, and I told the fellows in the in England, I said, I. I you were questioning how much of, of these I was going to make. The last in two are making 20 times that. This is the 1950s and the context is quite complicated because... Uh, licensing. Licensing and plus uh, India is at a stage where, where uh, all this technology is in short supply yeah. and yeah. skills are in short supply and so foreign exchange is in short supply and... Everything was. But you know, also there was another angle here, Frederick. I must tell you one. I, dis I, I went in contact with the German company to make knapsack blowers. I see. Blowers fitting on a knapsack? Knapsack. 
for, for pesticides. I see. Well. I see. And this company decided to go with me, and I got a proposal. I submitted to Delhi. Yeah. After some time, I got a I like I knew you know those days I had to go pleading yeah. uh, to the ministries uh, and yeah. Bhagwan okay. And, uh, so come tomorrow, come next week, come this that uh, you know, and you had to pay to find your file. You had to pay I see. For oh gosh. Yeah, yeah. It was terrible. I see. Uh, but uh, I'll take license you, permit Raj in the worst sense of the word. It, it was very bad. Uh, I, I can go on. Yeah. And I'll tell you a lot more. You time. could write a book about that, as yeah, the same goes. Yeah, I can tell you that. <laughs> but, so what happened here? I got a message after after many months from the company in Germany, saying, "Please, we just discovered there is an error in the power requirements. Okay. We have to, to give what power is you required, what how much water you required." Yeah. Uh, I went to Delhi, and I asked. I retrieved the file. Yeah. And the fellow tells me, uh, sorry, I think your application is, uh, we've already licensed Ali? another company. I said, oh, there was no other company when I applied. Okay. I said, I can't believe you. Yeah. So, I, I, he said, yes, there is. I said, which, are, which company has got it? West India Press, Pressings Company, owned by Villas. I see. <laughs> And he showed me the file. Okay. You know what? Duplicate. They, co they copied my I see. application. And in that, I told this fellow, I said, look, yeah. this mistake of the power. I see, he's also here. It's here. <laughs> and he, you know, he just shrugged his shoulder. Okay. That was what was happening. I see. Villas was sitting there. Last October was sitting there. I see. Oh, I mean, uh, this fellow, uh, Tata's. Tatas had their man, builders had their man. I see. All these fellows had that. <laughs> as soon as they saw a good project, well, I see. Air compressors, I put the first uh, suggested it. And I was going to collaborate with a company called New Standard Engineering. I see. A fellow called Patel. He went and talked to a fellow called Nimka, who was the manager of our uh, uh, consolidated, consolidated pneumatic company. Who were representing yeah, the British yeah, yeah. Uh, air compressor yeah. company. That fellow put him off. Said, no, 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 there's no demand, you do, don't get into this. Eh? Put this fellow off, and then he went right to to, to, to to kind of wrap this all up, because uh, the technical story is interesting, it's... Uh, it's, I it's I'm sorry. It's, no, 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 but I just wanted to know the, the, the clubs that you were involved with. Tell us a bit about that, because that's an interesting part as well. Which one? Which the clubs, the clubs, whether uh, Willingdon or London, yeah. or Madras. Yeah, we, we, Bobby, I'm one of the first Indians in the Bombay Jamkada. Okay. And the older, at the moment, the oldest oldest serving member. I see. Uh, I, I joined in along with uh, Rusi Talia Khan. Um, 